Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Key channel. Thanks so much for watching. Talking about photography and what people don't really tell you or talk about. And I wish someone would tell me when I was first starting out, no one talks about, no one tells you. I'm talking about the overall atmosphere that you as a photographer will bring to the table. And it's not because of the gear, it's because of the personality. Okay, let's say you have your camera, let's say you got your lens and you're like ready to go take photos, start this photography business. I didn't piece together the whole have to be doing it part. When I say have to be doing it, I mean like be on point with whoever you're taking photos of. Think about that for one sec. Have you ever been shot before? Like picture wise, have you ever been photographed before? You will know that how you feel in that moment with a photographer is a huge thing. And that's kind of the one thing I forgot about. I was too focused on the gear. I wasn't thinking about the model and how I would interact with them. But if you're naturally introverted, this is gonna be really hard for you and you really have to step out of your comfort zone and make he or she, your model, people who you're taking photos of, really comfortable around you. It's true. It's crucial and vital for you as the photographer to make your subject or subjects feel comfortable with you. They're paying you to take photos of them on their special day, on their special moment, on this special occasion. So if you come to the session feeling kind of weird and odd and just aren't feeling that day and it's not you, then you have to check yourself at the car. You think, okay, I feel really crummy and feel really crappy today. I have to make this work so the photos can come out perfect. Okay, it's not even, forget about getting work in the future. It's about this moment with this couple. They've agreed to pay you a certain amount of money as a photographer. You have to let go of all that stupid crap that you're going through and make sure that their photos are stellar, that their experience is stellar because that's gonna make or break you and most times it breaks people. That's another thing, as a photographer, you're the one in charge. You're the one positioning people in poses to get the best picture. And I, I don't understand why nobody talks about this. It's, it's just crucial. Like, we have to keep talking about this because as photographers, it's our job to make people feel really comfortable. It's our job as photographers to keep making, whoa, didn't see that step. You want to make your subjects comfortable with who you are, right? And, and it's so much more than just positioning and posing people for the shot to get, you know, the perfect picture. And so that also has to be true in person. If you have amazing captions with exclamation marks and you have witty captions, like be that exclamation mark in real life. Be a witty person. Be someone that people want to hang around with. If you're kind of just boring and like don't really have life and it's the opposite of what your photos are on Instagram or your website, your models or subjects will feel that. And that session might go not as well as you planned. I urge you as photographers, you have to be on point. The majority of photographers that I've worked with have this sort of kind of like charisma or characteristic to them that makes me want to work with them. They may not be like that all the time, but they know that in a professional setting, it's time to really hunker down, be more on point, be more vibrant and exciting. Not overly exciting, not overly vibrant to the point of annoyance, nobody likes that, but it's trying to find that genuine spot within yourself to really feel comfortable with your subjects and everyone around you. I'm gonna try to find a different spot here. Let's. I'm always so afraid to put my camera in this spot because if I leave it and I walk away and do a, a walk-on scene, my camera can easily, look at this, easily take a dive and not be good. You could have the best gear, you could be the greatest photographer, but if you're not bringing that connection and that like really good atmosphere that people connect with on the shoot, in the meeting, on the phone, over text, over email, you might as well pack your stuff up and go home. And sure, people might put up with your crap. If I was a person getting photographed, I would rather much work with someone who's okay and you know learning the craft and it is really good uh, and has a great personality versus someone who's like spot on a perfect photographer but a crappy attitude uh, because at the point of my wedding or of my engagement or my newborn shoot I want the photographer to like be one with the family be one with me and really understand of, of what I want and how I'm doing this entire thing. You know what I mean? Well, that's why I'm saying no one really talks about this. No one really opens up the can of worms of, of the photographer and the attitude. But our actions, our atmosphere, our attitude, our energy is a driving factor to be getting more work. And 
people will notice that. People will notice your work and that's good and your photos, but they will also remember how you made them feel. And that's the most important part of photography and in this business, I think. Pretty much anything that has to capture a life moment, you gotta be on point. You have to be that person for them. So I would encourage every photographer out there who's starting or already has a business, like, let's go back and remember these things because they're important. Let's see if I can do this without dropping the camera. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I love this spot. It's just so glorious. Uh, I freaking love it. There it is, guys. That is today's episode and today's video. I hoped that it kind of brought you back to the basics. I hope it does help you in your journey as a photographer. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace.